If you don't kiss your cat on their tiny, soft little forehead, what the French are you even doing? Uh, yelling at her for trying to eat plastic. What is the difference between falling in love and having a crush? If they get a haircut and they're ugly, it's a crush. That's a weirdly valid point. Wow. I just realized the first Cars movie and the first Thor movie have the exact same plot. I want an explanation right now. Okay, man on the road to greatness ends up lost in a small desert town with seemingly no hope of getting back to the life he knows. Over time, he falls in love with someone there and learns to be humble. With his character development complete, he's able to return to his life, never forgetting the people in that desert town. Oh, fuck. I hate how the stereotype is that dolphins are good and sharks are evil. When dolphins are so smart that they actually have the capacity for evil. But sharks are simple fish who can only be true neutral. So even if a minority of dolphins are evil, there are still more evil dolphins than sharks. Ah, uh, quality marine philosophy discourse. College students only have two levels of stress. One, I don't give a fuck, and two, oh god, if I don't do this, my life is over, I'm gonna have to work at McDonald's! There is no in-between. Americans, name every single Canadian province. Oh, that's easy. Hoenn, Joto, Kanto, Seno, Unova, and Kalos. You missed Galler. And more importantly, you forgot Alola. What the fuck? Today I learned that many early texts describe Jesus as ugly and small. He is estimated to have been four feet six inches tall. Head Kid and Jesus looked and sounded exactly like Danny DeVito. <gasps> oh my god. That's why we like Danny DeVito so much. He's Jesus! Trash man is Jesus! Can you believe barrels used to be, like, everywhere? Like you walk down the street and you're guaranteed to see at least one barrel. <sighs> I miss it, bro. I don't trust the media. Too many acronyms. What does CNN stand for? Literally no one knows the answer. Cable News Network. Could be. Literally nobody knows. Stalactite supervisor. That's a job, stalactite supervisor. Go ahead and laugh, it's hilarious. John Sato examines new formations with disappointment. A proper stalactite grows downward, says Sato, but these younger stalactites are rebellious and have little respect for tradition. We've caught them growing sideways, diagonally, and I saw one just yesterday that grew down at first, but then went straight back up again into a rock ceiling. Goddamn millennials. The first rule of writing is hoard notebooks. The second rule of writing is we do not write in our notebook hoard. So it is written. Just not in any of the notebooks. Ugh, younger siblings are so entitled. Older siblings think they're such martyrs. Middle children have the personality of cornbread. Boys, boys, stop attacking each other. Unionize. We need to attack the true enemy. Only children. Isn't it weird how it's already February, but it's also only February? I see this post every February and it always fucks me up. It's February?! Me at night choosing what's gonna keep me up until 3 a.m. Oh, you get to choose? It is pitch black outside and someone is mowing their lawn. Wow, power move. Update, the someone is my father. Does he have a flashlight? Dad, did you have a flashlight? No. How did you see? Moon. Sounds like a dad to me. Hey, do any of my followers know how to render really good? I can render my enemies in mobile. I meant 3D computer renders, but I'll keep you in mind for future references. So we got an Amazon Echo, and we changed the wake word to computer, and now I feel like I'm on the Enterprise all the time. Additionally, whenever I watch Star Trek, she only responds to computer when Data says it. And it's kind of adorable. Not Picard, not LaForge, not Troy, not Dr. Crusher, not Riker, not anyone but Data. The other night, Data asked his computer what time it was, and my computer told him it was 1047. Watching Star Trek is even more fun now. Ah, your Echo has a crush. It's weird how people say follow your dreams instead of follow your ambitions. Because once I had a dream where I worked for a place that tried to genetically engineer ducks to speak English, except the ducks only criticize people's fashion sense. Please follow your dream. I beg you. Do you ever just know the answer to a trivia question and have no idea where the knowledge came from? Sources, dude, trust me. I, I don't think I've ever been so frustrated. Aren't you glad it's not a banana? Oh my god, it happened!